Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to teach you how to download and install the Auto Fish mod for Minecraft 1.17.1. As the name would apply, this allows you to just kind of sit back and let fishing happen for you. Which, in my opinion, is one of the best way to do fishing. I absolutely hate fishing in Minecraft. I really do. So this mod's a uh, pretty easy thing to do. Now, please keep in mind, on a lot of servers, this is cheating. So just keep that in mind. Auto fishing is not allowed on a lot of servers and will actually get you killed by something called a Kraken on many servers as well. So keep that in mind. This is mainly designed for single player because it's very, very easy to kind of get around this on servers or not get around this, but like to block this on servers. So anyway, just keep that in mind. First of all, though, we do have a sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting, where you can start your own Minecraft server and not worried about getting banned from it because you own it. And Apex Minecraft Hosting is the easiest place to do that. You can check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft. Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much, so we have to our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown text was slash Apex. Now let's go ahead and get auto fish. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. And that's going to take you here. This is the auto fish mod download page. Come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.17. Under that, you'll see auto fish 1.17 right there and click on the orange download button to the right of that. After a few seconds, the download for auto fish will begin. And uh, yeah, it'll download right like so. Now, it We'll download in the bottom left where you will need to keep this file. It's 100% safe to keep it. You also need to save it in the server screen for all Mozilla Firefox. Now there's one more thing we need to download and that is the Fabric API. Well, actually there's two more things we need to download. We need to download the Fabric API and the Fabric Mod Loader. The first though will be the Fabric API, which of course is linked in the description down below. Once you're down there, scroll down until you see this yellow download button. Click on that and that will take you to the Fabric API download page. Same thing as AutoFish, come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.17 and then download the 1.17.1 version of the Fabric API there. It's gonna take it a few seconds and the download will begin automatically. Automatically, same as Autofish, you will need to keep or save it depending on your browser. Go ahead and keep it at the bottom of Google Chrome, save it on Mozilla Firefox. Now, we need to download this as well. This is the Fabric Mod Loader. This is how Autofish and the Fabric API will be installed. And you can find this in the description down below as well. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Installer Universal slash dot jar button. And in the bottom left, automatically, the Fabric Installer will download. Fabric Installer, right like so. Go ahead and click Keep. It will save it in the bottom left. You will need to save it on your screen on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to save the file. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we are going to have, if we go ahead and refresh here, I'm gonna delete this real fast. It's from an old tutorial, there we go. On our desktop, we will have Autofish, Fabric API, and the Fabric Installer. If these are on your desktop, they're gonna be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top bottom left of your screen, type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, click on that, and then in here, you will be able to find all of your mods in the Fabric Installer, drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, if your icons are different than mine here, don't worry about that, I'm gonna show you how to fix it here in a second, but first, let's see if we can open up the Fabric Installer. So go ahead and right click on the Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if you do and you click OK and it doesn't work? Or what if these icons are just wrong? Well, in that case, you want to go down here and download the uh, Java for Minecraft mods. It is a specific version of a Java for Minecraft mods that will basically allow you to install Fabric and run the mods. So go through this simple three-step tutorial. You should be good. You may also need to run the jar fix. If you do, it's linked in the description down below as well. That's going to kind of make sure the jar files on your computer are linked to Java and working together. So keep that in mind as well. Nevertheless, though, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and you should be able to right-click on the Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. It's then going to open up the Fabric Mod Installer, or Fabric Installer here, where you want to make sure 1.17.1 is selected, and then click Install. Now, at this point, the only reason it won't work is because you haven't played Minecraft 1.17.1 without any mods. If that's the case, go play Minecraft 1.17.1 Vanilla, come back here, and this will work. Then go ahead and click OK. It will uh, go ahead and close out of that little pop-up, close out of the Fabric Installer. You can actually delete the Fabric Installer from your desktop. You don't need it anymore. Now let's go ahead and get Autofish and the Fabric API installed. To do this, you again want to click the little Windows icon on the top left of your screen. It might be in the bottom left of your screen. Actually, it's in the top left of mine, probably in the bottom left of yours. And then tap in Run, R-U-N. You're going to have this Run app here. Go ahead and click on that. And then in this app, you want to go ahead and type percent sign, app data percent sign, percent, app data percent, exactly like that, and hit Enter. That's then going to open up our roaming folder where we'll find our .minecraft folder. Double click on that, and then in here you'll find a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, guess what? I don't either. So we need to go ahead and create one. To do that, we're going to go ahead and right click here. We want to create a new folder. So right click, create a new folder, right like so. Then you can title this mods, M-O-D-S. You must title it mods, mods, right like so, all lowercase. And then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Then you want to take auto fish and the fabric API and drag and drop those into this mods folder. 
Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And from here, we wanna make sure that we're selecting the fabric profile. To do this, we wanna go ahead and click on the little arrow to the left of the play button and click on fabric. It should be fabric loader 1.17.1. If it is, you're gonna click play, go ahead and click play again. But if for whatever reason you don't have the fabric loader here, what do you do? Well, in that case, we wanna go up here to the installations tab, and then we wanna go ahead and make sure this mod button is checked over here on the right-hand side. As you can see, unchecked it, and guess what? Fabric disappears, check it, there it is, click play, you're good to go. However, if you still don't have Fabric 1.17.1 here, go ahead and click on the new installations tab. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I calling it that? Because that is our incredible 1.17.1 grief protected survival server. Over 150 players online every single day. You will love play.breakdowncraft.com survival. If you are looking for the best survival server out there, come try play.breakdowncraft.com. .com. Put a ton of time, ton of work into it. You will absolutely love it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on their versions drop down box here. And then we want to select release fabric loader 1.17.1. Mine's towards the top. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but mine's right here again towards the top. We can then change our resolution. You don't have to do that, but I am. Most important part is making sure it says fabric loader and then at the end 1.17.1. Then click the green create button. We now have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile with fabric loader 1.17.1 under it. Hover over that, click the green play button. Right, like so, and then go ahead and click you understand the risk there. You're good to go and click play. Now, Minecraft 1.17.1 will open up with the Autofish mod installed. Simple, easy, all that stuff. I will meet you after a quick jump cut on the Minecraft main menu to uh, showcase this mod. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Unfortunately, the only way to make sure this is working is by jumping into a world. So we're just gonna jump into this world here and uh, Go fishing, basically. That's how that's how this is gonna work. Now, one thing I will mention is that the key to kind of like open up the GUI and get things started is V. So when you hit V, it's gonna open up your auto fish settings here. As you can see, it kind of tells you, you know, what all of these do when you hover over them. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, you can go through all of these. Now, auto fish on or off, multi rod, break protection, all that stuff is built in. It's a really, really cool mod. And I do see a swamp down here that we can go fishing in. So let's go ahead, come down here give ourselves a fishing rod. We're also going to go, we'll do time set day. And then we're also going to do game mode survival. All right, so now let's go ahead and go fishing. So basically we just kind of sit back and relax. It will fish for us at this point. And you can just walk away. You know, it's true AFK auto fishing. And that's what's great. Fishing is one of the more boring things in Minecraft, but is needed, especially for things like potions and getting fish and even stuff like that. So yeah. Very, very cool, very, very simple. I wish we would catch a fish. I'm just kind of showcasing the boringness of this. We have to kind of actually sit here and pretty much legit fish. Not touching any of the uh, the keyboard there, but yeah. So there we go, as you can see, automatically fished, automatically caught, automatically recasted. We're good to go, right? Didn't touch the keyboard at all. My hands have been right here on screen the entire time. But uh, this is a great mod. Again, keep in mind though, that this will get you banned on servers and is very easy to detect on servers, very easy. So just keep that in mind as well. But it is a great way for single player fishing, just sitting back, relaxing. And the fact it has things like break protection built in. So overall, a really solid auto fishing mod. So of us, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. Come play with us on playdarbreakdowncraft.com. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out, peace.